Okay, so I finally made I mean, in one in drift. I finally made the automatic update to actually do something. So if I just start one doing drift here, it should pop up telling me if I need to if I need to update. Yep. So here we go. All right, you have a bunch of options. I'm gonna just show. I'm gonna go through them all. So there's yes, which will update one time. Alright, I'll just update and it will download the update. And then after in a few maybe minutes or so, I'll get a um message saying that it downloaded it. Also while this is going on you can just kick off it. Um it won't pop up on your screen once it's done. Maybe I'll add that later. It's like the final thing or something, but moment this is how it works. So you just see what's down doing update. It is indeed downloading an update right now. No, it's just saying downloading update. Watch it not work now if I'm recording. Work before. Watch it like totally just do nothing now. I guess I could show you what's going on inside the folder. Um. Uh, yeah, so here it is, yes.exe, which is the main exe file I'm wondering drift. Every time I refresh, you'll notice its file size is getting bigger. That's because it's currently downloading it. I believe it's 30 something MB. So, like, whatever, almost there. It's at like 20 something right now. See, and uh, we'll just say download compete. And you just hit OK and it will then yield the game. However, um, the way I have to set up at the moment is it's very testy and so it doesn't actually update your game with this download so whatever version you currently have. But I can easily change that and I will change that. You'll notice know, there's a bunch of other options, like update always, which I'll cover in the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching.